Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting and fast mathematic question. And in this video we're going to solve this really interesting challenge, so this looks like a pretty easy problem, but many of you are actually going to get this wrong, and you'll probably be a little bit shocked, but don't panic, I'm going to fully explain you why you're uh, probably going to get this wrong, and how to avoid this particular mistake. Well, let me go ahead and tell you the problem we have. So we have 20 plus 8 divided by 2. So where is the challenge on the first side, yeah? And what is the correct answer? Right here we have three options, option A, option B, option C, so right now what do you think, choose one option, what do you think is the correct answer, because this is a very tricky challenge and 97% of students make this mistake. Okay, here's our challenge, here's our option, so choose one option, what do you think is the correct, and write your option down into the comment section. Okay, first of all I want to start with this solution, so here's our challenge, so we have 20, this is our 20, plus 8, divided by 2. So here is our challenge, 20 plus 8 divided by 2. And first part of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, we have addition at first, so we should add at first. We have 20 plus 8, which is equal to 28. Then we have this division on the right hand side divided by 2, which is equal to, which is equal to 14. So one part of students solve this question like that, they say that option A is a correct answer. And right now I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect. I want you to understand that in math we can't solve this problem chaotically. We can't jump from left to right. We can can't do whatever we want, because this is a very big mistake in math. We should know what is the correct order of operation, we should know what is the correct rule, correct law, how can we solve this question correctly with mathematic approach, okay? So first of all we should know about order of operation, because this is like a chaotic method, we just do whatever we want, we want to add it, we want to divide it, and we have our answer. So for this question let's look for example at, at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. DMC, and as you can see right here we have six steps, uh, first step parentheses, then we have exponent, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction, so we have a lot of steps right here. So let's go through the steps and let's check with this 14, maybe we'll have the same answer but let's look at it. So right here we have our question, so we have 20 plus 8 divided by 2. Okay, so here's our challenge, and let's go through the steps. The first step is parentheses. Let's look at it. Where do we have these parentheses? For me personally, I don't see any parentheses, so we just skip this part. We don't have any parentheses, so we just skip this part, which is really great. Okay, what is the next step? Exponents. What about exponents? I don't see any exponents, so let's let's skip this part as well. Right here we don't have any exponents, so we just skip this part. For example, if we have like squares, cubes, we should uh, raise this to the fourth power, to the fifth power, we don't have it, so we just skip this part as well. What about multiplication? Let's look at it. Multiplication and division group, okay? because this is PMDMC order of operation. So multiplication and division, this is one common group, and now we need to find where do we have this multiplication division sign. Let's look at it. Right here we have addition, yeah, right here we have division, so we need this expression right now. And as you can see, right here we have division part, yeah, we have division part, we don't have any multiplication part, but if you look closely uh, to the last step, we have addition and subtraction as our last step, so right here we have addition and we have subtraction, so right here we have addition and we don't have any subtraction, so as you can see we have only division and addition step. We have addition sign, we have division sign, so we have division and addition step. But if you look closely, division is before addition all the time, so we, we should divide at first, then we can easily add it. So this is a very important moment and I hope you understand my thought about it. So division is before addition and, and multiplication is the same thing with division. So we should multiply and divide and then add and subtract as our last step. So multiplication division as first step, we have this division, so we have 20 plus 8 uh, divided by 2 equal to 4. So we have 24 because addition is our last step right here, so we have 24. But if you look closely to these options, right here we have 14, 30, 4 factorial, and a lot of students when they see these options, they go back to this wrong answer because they say we don't have any 24, so let's go with this 14 and we forget about uh, order of operation and we go back to this wrong answer, which is absolutely bad because, the, yeah, 100% this is a very bad solution because this is absolutely incorrect to start with addition and then and division, which is absolutely bad. With parentheses, this question will be okay, then we should start from parentheses, we have 28 divided by 4, this is okay, but with parentheses. In our case, we don't have any parentheses, so we, we should forget about it, this is a very bad solution. And let's look at it, 14, 30, this is not the same, and 4 factorial, 4 factorial, really important step, because 4 factorial, this is a product from 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, which is equal to 24, we have 6 right here, we have times 4, we have 24. And really important and tricky moment because 4 factorial this is the same as 24. And 24 of course 100% this is the correct answer to our question because we solve it according to a correct order of operation. So our answer to this challenge is option option C. Let's write right here our answer. Our answer 
this is option, option C. So I hope you understand my explanation, I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures, thank you for your time and have a great day.